What up, young goop? The God Sneaker Hunter. We checking out some shoes. We doing a little bit of an unorthodox unboxing. Get this out of the way. Doing a little bit of an unorthodox unboxing. I went into storage and pulled out some of my J's. My collection is all in storage. Um, had to dump like 40 plus pairs of shoes that broke down due to dry rot and all type of bullshit. Kept them in the house and all. Make a video about that, putting together the footage. But what I do have are a couple pair, maybe three pair of my threes, not maybe, exactly. Three pair of my threes. And we're gonna bust them open and see, you know what I'm saying, what shape they in after probably about 17 years at the youngest. Young Goop the God, sneak on it. All right, the first pair we're gonna look at Retro Jordan 1s, white metallic silver. See if I can give you a close up on that. Size 11 and a half. I used to wear 11 and a half back in the day, but now I wear all 12s. Looking at these things. Jordan 1s, Retro 1s, the only Retro 1s you will see with the Jumpman on the side, Jordan in the back, my hologram is definitely frosted over, I'm going to have to find a way to do something about that, but a little bit of backstory on these, I was buying everything that came out, it came out in 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, for the most part I got everything, or I had everything that came out. Uh, Jordan was releasing a lot of ones. At that time, they were all mids. Nothing came in the high. This actually, at one point, had an icy bottom. I treated them with the uh, with the reviver. I'll show. I'll put up a, a before picture of what it looked like before I treated them. But brought them home and cleaned them up a little bit. That's what I got. They were an icy bottom. They were a clear blue bottom. But currently, they just they're pretty white. Might treat them again. I like these shoes. I've never worn them in public, so technically they're dead stock. They do not. They have some wear from just being moved around, a couple of wrinkles up top. But they are 17 years old. Let me see if I can see it here and here. Let me not release that yet. Yep, 2002. These came out in September of 2002. So. As of today, these shoes are 18 years old. Still looking pretty good, you know what I'm saying? Shoe number one. I do have both cut, you know what I'm saying? Shoe number one. Oh. Retro car is still intact. I know that I have the keychain for most of these shoes. These came with a keychain too. But retro car is still intact. Shoe number one. Shoe number two has recently been released. Also have the card for that. Been re-released in a slightly different colorway and a high. I just wore these the other day, so excuse me if the laces aren't perfect. But the black and gold, let's get the exact name, black metallic gold Air Jordan 1 Retro. Original retro is these all are. These are, are not dead stock. I've worn these a few times. They've gotten dusty. Just sitting in the box since the other day. But ones usually wear down pretty well. The toe box on the patent leathers take a while to kind of give in to the natural look. So if you have something, you're going to rock them. You know what I'm saying? Rock them. Eventually, they're starting to look good after you give in or trying to keep them perfectly clean. But these two came out. It came out so long ago. But these came out, let's see, the other one. I believe in 2001, 2002, yep. Oh, all three of them are here. So here's the two tags for that one. Here's the tag for the other one. I actually have one in my truck. Yeah, both of them. I think that just happened when I wore them. But I double, de double checked the date. These came out in 2001, 2002. Uh, very similar how they came out before the the, the gray Japan joints that came out, which I do have a pair, still have a pair. The white and blue. I had a pair. I messed them up. The first ones that I messed up, I might still have those in storage. 
and then these came out. I got all three. I was just, like I said, I was buying everything that came out. My hologram is faded a little bit. It's a little yellow. But Jumpman in the back, these do not feel great to wear. You know what I'm saying? They're 18 years old, give or take. So the comfy beater on these are not great. But, you know what I'm saying? When I was buying shoes heavy, these were definitely in the rotation. Never worn until maybe worn once or twice when I had them. But I was trying to keep everything so clean. Ridiculous. Call out can't be here. Alright. The pair that took on the drastic, the most drastic or dramatic change, once again, called it attack are the white university blue Air Jordan 1 retro, or should I say formerly university blue. Bang, bang, look at that. These joints I just cleaned up. Before, maybe, the, I think I, during the quarantine, when the quarantine started, I started wearing these, or well, right before. The bottom was once an icy bottom. I tried to work them back with some reviver, but, the University One Royal, excuse me, University One. <laughs> I'm just stunned by the color change. As you can see, the University Blue is still on the Nike check, but the patent leather, for some reason, this is patent leather as well, but this patent leather is turned into like a sea foam type green. So if you look closely, they're not just white and University Blue. But now they have that seafoam green tint to them. Both shoes, both shoes change on their own in the box. While sitting in the house. Like these shoes, none of these shoes were like in a storage container where I got hot cold, hot cold. I've owned houses that lived in and contained, you know what I'm saying? Not contained, I wouldn't say contained houses. But I've owned houses and they've been stored in closets, like purposely stored. I stored them like I work a Foot Locker still. So, you know what I'm saying? This just happened because it happened. I guess this particular material has a tendency. If you have any shoes that have done this, leave a comment below. Let me know if you have naturally changed. They're actually pretty dope. Even the Jumpman on the tongue stayed Carolina blue. As you can see, the Nike check stayed Carolina blue. But the rest of the patent leather took on that seam foam color. So, pretty interesting. I say that too much in the video. But yeah, man, just a few pair of the Jordan ones that I was able to reach in storage. I'm going to be take a video for the thumbnail. That was whack. But yes, just a few ones that I pulled out of storage. I'm going to be going in and out of the storage the best that I can, it's packed to the brim. That's why there's no stack of shoes behind me. It's just a Christmas tree for now. But once I get my stuff situated, we get up out of this joint, set this thing on up. But get shoes out of storage, stop cleaning them up, stop making some episodes of Sneaker Hunter where I'm actually revealing, unboxing some of the old shit that I have in the car closet or in the storage that I used to have in the closet, but enough talking. Young group to God, Sneaker Hunter, we in here a long time, we back 